Hello YouTubers! This video is a part 1 of a small demo on how to control Mitsubishi VFD by Siemens S7-1200 PLC. Also it applies to S7-1500 series PLC by the means of the profile. Let's have a look at the electrical setup. In this drawing you can see various components, fuse box, protection circuit, magnetic contactor, VFD, safety switch and the motor. So first of all uh, let's have a closer look at uh, the connection contacts of the VFD. Power line, the contacts for the power line are marked as L1, L2 and L3. So this is the input of the VFD power line and the output contacts of the VFD are marked as U, V and W. So please make sure that you won't switch those contacts. All right, now let's have a look at uh, the Profinet card. So here we have our VFD main port and here I already have installed the uh, encoder input card and also a a8 NPRT Profinet card. Uh, this card should be installed in the option slot 1 and it is located on the right side of the board. Right, let's have a closer look at this card. So, here we have a two RJ45 network sockets and there are five LEDs. These uh, LEDs represent, represents various statuses of the network and uh, the card itself. Two uh, LEDs on the left uh, side show the status of the link of the each connector. If LED is off, it means that there is no link. If it lets, then it means that uh, the link is established, but uh, there is no communication. If the LED is flickering, then it means that link is established and the communication is present. Uh, other three LEDs that are on the right side represent network status, module status and error. The upper LED is a network status. If it is off, then it means that power is off or there is no connection to the I.O. controller. If it lets green, that means that VFD is online, connection to the I.O. controller is established and I.O. controller, in our case it will be S7-1200 series PLC, is in run state. If the LED is flashing, then it means that uh, connection to the I.O. controller is established, but I.O. controller is in stop mode itself. Uh, the second LED is, represents module status. If LED is off, then it means that module is not initialized. If we have a power, then it means that setup is not finished. If LED is green and it LEDs constantly, then it means that module is operational. If LED flashes at one flash on a time, then it means that diagnostic event is present. Also, two flashes is used for a engineering tool to identify the node is on the network. If the LED is in color red and LEDs constantly, then it means that the board is in exception state. One flash shows that the configuration error, there is a configuration error and expected identification differs from the real identification. Two red flashes means that IP address is not set and three red flashes means that uh, the name of the station is not set. Uh, the third LED is error LED. If it is off then it means that communication with inverter is working without any problems. If the red is on then it means that there is an error in communication with the inverter 
if it flashes twice means that it means that uh, process data mapping is invalid three flashes mean that uh, there are too many process data parameters mapped i have ran briefly through the electrical setup of the optional card uh, you can find more uh, detailed information in the manual of it next uh, i will ran through the configuration of the VFD itself. Now it is time to configure the VFD to be able to control it via Profinet. To configure the 800 series VFD I am going to use a software called FR Configurator 2. If you have no this software then you can download it from Mitsubishi Electric web page or you can configure the VFD via built-in operation panel FRDU08. Start the FR configurator and create a new project. A new pop-up window will open up and here you can configure your VFD module manually or read it if the VFD is connected to the PC with, uh, via any suitable interface. My VFD is uh, connected via USB. You can pick up any other interface from the PC uh, side port drop-down menu. After selecting the correct interface, uh, click on Auto Recognize. I know that uh, there is only one VFD connected uh, through this interface, so I can cancel the search after the first station has been found. So here I have a 820 series VFD and as you can already see it has two option cards at the in the slot number one the, there is a Profinet card AN and PRT is installed and in uh, slot two I have a 8AL uh, encoder card installed so now mark your VFD and click OK. All right. Now double click on the parameters, and uh, now you can see the full list of parameters. As we are still offline, these are initial values of the parameters of VFD. So to get the current values, we need to go online. As you can see, I am already online and uh, my uh, VFD is in already in net mode, which means it's in network operation because my VFD is already configured. Now to read uh, the parameters, you need to click on batch read. Okay, so in the column name, in the column name uh, setting value, I have got all the values that are set in the VFD. So first of all, uh, we need to take into account parameter parameter number 79. All right, it is operation mode selection double click on that parameter and you will in a pop-up window with uh, the explanation of that parameter will open up here you can find all the necessary information about this parameter so for uh, to be short I am going to set here value 6 so I can switch over modes of PU external and net operation and it can be done performed during 
operation. Next parameter is 340. Alright, this is a communication startup mode selection. Again, double click on it and a pop-up window with, with the explanation of the parameter will open up. Here I have uh, used parameter number 10 because so it will be net operation mode. You can uh, set any other that enables control via network here. Well, it depends on your setup. And um, after those parameters has been set, download them to the to the VFD, and you need to power cycle your VFD because only after restart they will be taken into the account. If after power cycle your uh, VFD goes into net mode, then means that means that your parameters are set correctly. If not, then you need to check them and uh, change them according to my setup. It is very important uh, to set these parameters correctly because each time after the power loss you will be well in need to switch um, the VFD to the network mode manually. So you will be in need to go through all the VFDs and set them to the net operation mode otherwise you won't be able to control it with a profinet. Okay, next parameters are 1300 series. Okay. So, first of all, uh, you need to set parameters 1305 to 1308. Here you set the IP address of your VFD. Currently my IP address is 192.168.2.3. The next parameters are 1309 to 1312. Those are to set uh, the subnet mask. Mine is 255.255.255 and 0. Uh, by setting your IP address, make sure that your VFD will be in the same LAN as uh, your <coughs> as your PLC. So after you have finished the setup of the VFD. Now you can uh, download those parameters to your VFD by individually by clicking on the button right or you can uh, download all, all at the time by clicking batch right. After doing that restart your VFD and if it is in the network mode and those parameters are in uh, are set as they are and you can uh, see them just s scrolling down in your hub uh, art configurator or via via built-in panel so you are good to go okay so the main parameters are set I did not uh, cover it the the um, uh, motor parameters because I don't know what kind of motor you use but you need to adjust them according to the plate that is on your motor so in next video I will cover a hardware configuration in TIA portal thank you for watching